like addition and subtraction we can solve multiplication questions vertically you can see here we have four questions which are written vertically when we write them vertically we put the units together and the tens together here we have a two digit number and the other number we are multiplying is a single digit number which stays in the units place Whenever we have to multiply two numbers together, you need to multiply the number in the units place with the number in the units place. So 7 is going to be multiplied by 1. 7 ones are 7. You write the answer in the units place. Now, you are going to multiply the 7 with the 1 in the tens place. So you first multiply the numbers which are in the units place, then you multiply the number which is in the units place below to the number which is here in the tens place. So 7 ones are 7 again. So 11 multiplied by 7 makes 77. 10 multiplied by 5. To solve this question, the first thing you do is you are going to take this number 5 and multiply it by the, with the number which is in the units place which is a 0 here. 5 zeros are 0. Whenever you multiply any number with 0, the answer is always 0. So the answer is 0 in the units place. Now you are going to multiply 5 with the 1 which is in the tens place. So first you are multiplying up and then you are going the diagonal way. Alright. 5 ones are 5. 5 comes here in the tens place. The answer is 50. 22 multiplied by 2. The first thing you do is multiply up. 2 twos are 4. Write that down in the units place. Then you are going to multiply 2 with this number over here. 2 twos are 4 again. Answer is 44. 12 multiplied by 3. You have this number 3 here. You are first going to multiply 3 with 2. 3 twos are 6. At this point, it's important that you have learned your times tables, all of them, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's, it's the best. Because then your multiplication is going to be much, much easier. Now, the 3 is going to be multiplied with this number here, which is a 1. 3 ones are 3, the answer is 36. When we are going to solve these questions, the answers are going to have 3 digits in there, in them. The question is 51 multiplied by 5. We are going to first multiply 5 with the 1 which is in the units place. And then we are going to multiply 5 with the 5 over here which is in the tens place. 5 ones are 5. We write that down in the unit side. And now we do 5 fives are, if you know your times table, this is going to be easy. Otherwise you will have to either count in fives, 5 times 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Or you can also make sets. The best thing is to learn your times tables. 5 fives are 25. Now here, you're going to write 25 straight away. The answer is going to have 3 digits. You now have a hundreds as well. You have units and tens. And now you have hundreds. 73 multiplied by 3. You're going to first multiply 3 with the 3. 3 threes are 9. Right in the units place, and now we are going to multiply 3 with 7. 3 7s are 21. The answer comes down here. 73 multiplied by 3 equals 219. This question here is 40 multiplied by 6. 6 zeros are 0. Any number that you multiply with 0 is a 0. So 6 zeros are 0. 6 4s are 24. So the answer is 240. 53 multiplied by 2. 2 threes are 6. 2 fives are 10. We write the answer straight away. So the answer is 106.